guys. Welcome back to Red's Franchise. We are in Game 2 of the World Series against the Astros. Jake, Rake, Fraley with a two-home run game to propel us to a monster 10-4 win over the Astros was amazing. And now we head into Game 2. Going to be a tough one. Two lefties going head-to-head. -head. Framber Valdez can be very tough to hit, but we have Tarek Skubal. So, I like our chances. He's got a 1.67 ERA in the postseason. Playing very, very well. And you know what? I think it'd be rude not to jump in and player lock with what is essentially our ace. Of course, Hunter Green's played well, but, you know, Skubal's been so good and even better in the postseason. Of course, live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bangle. Thank you to all the viewers, all the chatters, all the subs. New subs from uh, Himothy with the gift and Nub. Thank you very much for returning back for 19 in a row. As we look to win two in a row here to start this World Series. Home field advantage, always very nice. Very, very nice to start out in Cincinnati. And we need our defense to play strong behind Scooble today. Christian Encarnacion Strand gets the start facing a lefty. But defense, of course, leaves a bit to be desired. The Astros lineup, they can hit a little bit, but a lot of lefties, and they're leading off with one here, Adam Frazier. Player lock for Tarek Skubal puts us in a really good position to mow through this lineup. And if we're getting calls like that on sinkers down, this game could be on cruise control because that's a ground ball waiting to happen unless Frazier could get underneath it, and he did. Fraley took a false step back. You should. But then is able to come back inside to make the play. Same lineup really as last game for the Strohs. Alex Kirilov hitting second. And we'll try to retire him as quickly as we did Adam Frazier. And we are going to continue to get calls at the bottom of the zone, which I love. Now that is a strike. No question. But it's close. You can almost say borderline. Skubal is out early. 0-2 on Kirilov. And we'll get strike three swinging in the dirt. Kirilov goes down. And that is very quickly. Two up, two down for Skubal. But here's a very dangerous hitter. Jordan Alvarez going to try to keep the sinker down. And not over the heart of the plate like that one. Because Alvarez can elevate and... This game will be 1-0 in a hurry. And there that one goes. Deep to left field. Going back is Fraley. He's going to play it off the base of the wall. Getting it in quickly. But that is a double for Jordan Alvarez. And exactly what we were looking to avoid. 103 exit velo. Take a second look at this. It's really not that bad of a pitch. Alvarez is just able to stay on it. And that's seven strikes in a row for Tarek Skubal. But not a 1-2-3 inning, unfortunately. Close-ish play at second base, to be honest. And... Look at where the pitch is. Sinker just down. Alvarez is able to get it up somehow. And Kyle Tucker, somebody that I fear can do the same thing. Need to keep him off the bases. Get that sinker in. Jammed him. Going to be a tough play for the second baseman. But he makes it look easy. Good stretch as well. Matt McLean hasn't shown much at the plate this series. This postseason really but is able to do something there in the field. Awesome stuff. Uh, Kira Maja, welcome back. Thank you for the subscription. Goobs, welcome back as well, four in a row. Ooh, good question. When is Reds franchise? As we get two runs in, this, in the first inning. Take a look at how that happened. Let's see. I mean, are you surprised? Tyler Stevenson home run. He is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Tyler O'Neill single. Hunter Renfro double scores him. And then Ellie ground out Matt McLean single. And Renfro out trying to advance, it would appear. All right, we got a lead, Scoobal. Jeremy Pena can hit lefties pretty well. Got to be a little bit careful here. A little bit careful. Just want to keep that circle change away. And down, preferably. We might throw it three times in a row. He doesn't want to hit it. Oh, punch him out. Punch him out, please. I haven't shown that high fastball. Maybe he won't be able to get to it. Fouls it off. 
Okay. Maybe a slider would, would get him to chase. It's a possibility. It's grounded right back up the middle under the leg of Tarek Skubal. It was a base hit to start things off for the Astros. Jeremy Pena leadoff single. A ton of speed. Not the best base dealer, though. But a ton of speed. Chaz McCormick's got pretty good speed, too. Going to try to keep that sinker down. Play for a double play. That one's, like, right down the middle. Dangerous. But we got what we wanted. Ground ball to Ellie. To McLean. Back on to first double play. Exactly what we needed. That's why Scooble's so great is he's got this sinker that can, you know, deliver ground balls in a hurry. But he's also got a big-time fastball that can get it by you. As we see Jamer Candelario in the seven spot for the Astros. Probably need to locate that pitch a bit better. The fastball's, for some reason, weird to locate sometimes in franchise. But that one's located pretty well. Although I would prefer it out of the strike zone. The called strike is nice. X Tide, welcome back. 32 months. Thank you very much. Back to the slider. Hit into play and passed Matt McClain. What a joke, dude. What a joke. All right. I mean, it's hit 77 miles per hour off the bat, and now we have to see another batter here in the second, Pedro Leon. Although the double play means that I'm not really too worried about the runner on first. Otherwise, we could have been in some big-time trouble. You're talking about maybe runners on first and third. That's always scary. 2-0. and oh. I mean, Pedro Leon is somebody we have to face. Cannot walk him. What do you guys think here? Curveball? I don't love it 2-1. We're going to try it, though. Maybe we can get a chase. No. No, no, no. All right, back to the fastball. 3-1, it's a fastball count, and we threw it right down the middle. It's hit fairly well to center field, but that will be out number three. Got to locate a bit better, but overall, we have pretty good with Scoople so far. Get some more insurance runs for us. And we're not able to. Sam Huff hitting 317 in the postseason, batting last. Almost more like second leadoff with that batting average here in the postseason. It's apparently not a strike. Don't really know how that's the case. Fully in the strike zone. Should be 0-2 right now. Annoying. Come on, Scooble. Get it in there. Ground ball and foul. What do you, I think we go put away pitch here. I think maybe like slider down and in. Ground ball. Ellie's got it. And that should be no problem for De La Cruz. Big time arm. And we get our first out. Maybe we can get Frazier reaching. He just has a way of elevating these pitches somehow. That's hit to the left center field gap. And that's going to get down. Oh, man. Why is Adam Frazier the death of me? He's like lefty Kevin Newman. Why is he such a problem, dude? Runner in scoring position, one down for Kirilov. A bunch of lefties in a row. Gotta jam them. Sinker down and in. Do not let them get the bat out in front. Continue to jam. Same spot. Ground ball will take it. Runner advances to third, but two outs now. Thanks, Jordan Alvarez. Okay. Do we intentionally walk here? Let me know in the chat. Do we intentionally walk? It's early to do that. You're putting the tying run on base. And Kyle Tucker's coming up next. Probably not a wise move. He can make us pay, but he's also, he's not, he's not superhuman. We're going to go after him. Ball one. Maybe we try to pitch around him. Most of the chat wants us to intentionally walk him, as you can see above me. But this is like an intentional, not intentional walk. But we're not getting any of the calls either. Dude, I thought we'd be getting everything. I'm kind of getting squeezed right now. And he's going to swing 3-0. Foul him off. Here's a 3-1, not showing him the heater. Ooh, 
okay. You got a call there. Strike two looked like a little bit low. Did it clip the zone? Alvarez was ready to jog down to first base. And that is called strike two. And now he's out of the zone. Not ready to hit. I got to watch this whole animation apparently. Finally back in. That was a bit low. Does he feel the need to protect it now? 12-6 it is. And he does. He does. Okay. Slider. Slider down and away. Good spot. Got a ground ball. Encarnacion Strand, I need you. Hurry up! If Alvarez would have legged out an infield single, brother, that would have been bad. A run would have scored. Not the end of the world, but like, dude, that was way too close. We that's That's what I was talking about earlier. We lose some third base defense, but thankfully it doesn't hurt us too much. Scribs, welcome back for 40, 53 months. Excuse me. Let's try to get to Kyle Tucker. Obviously, it doesn't exactly work out like this, but we'll see what Kyle Tucker would have done if Alvarez would have legged out that infield single to keep the inning alive. Probably would have uh, pitched him a different way. We're kind of attacking him right now. Going to see two fastballs in a row. Got him 1-2. I want to say the 12-6 was money for us down the stretch with Scooble. We're going to keep rocking with it. It's a ground ball pitch if that one gets past Matt McClain. Dude, the, I mean, we've had twice now that have got past Matt McClain. I'm not saying he should have made the play, but these are not hit especially hard at all. And they're just, they're becoming hit somehow. And now we're going to pitch for the double play again. We're trying to be selective enough. Don't want a two-run home run. If we, pitch, if we pitch the fastball up, it's got to be up, up, like that one was. We can't let these guys elevate and hit something out here at Great American. I mean, the ball flies so easily. It's such a short field. Really everywhere, the dimensions are super small. So we're trying to keep the ball on the ground. But I also don't want to walk Pena. We're going to go sinker. Try to locate it in. And that is hit up in the air. Not what we wanted. Deep to left field and gone. It's a two-run home run for Jeremy Pena, World Series hero. He's back again. Of course, we're up 1-0 in the series, as you can see in the top right faintly. That's going to push the Astros back to uh, maybe closing this closing in on us and tying this series up. I mean, it's a sinker in on the black and Jeremy Pena was able to get his hands in and, and pull it out. And now we got to face Chaz McCormick. No Altuve on this lineup. Oh, Jesus. I mean, can I, can I bean the ump? I need the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Just put your glove down. I'll throw it, you know, right above the plate. Just put your glove down. That's all I'm asking. Unfortunate. Got that call right. Moron. All, right. All tied up here. Just got to bounce back after the homer. This is this really is an Angel Hernandez strike zone. This is crazy. What's being called versus what isn't. Here's a ground ball. Pass Christian Encarnacion Strand. Ellie very clearly not ready for that one. I mean, that's not on Ellie. The range of Encarnacion Strand is deplorable. Ellie with a strong throw, but I mean, there's no play at that point. Oh, I mean, Christian Encarnacion Strand is going to give me heart palpitations. I, I don't want to take Scooble out. It's only two, right? It's only two, but... I don't want things to get any worse. And the Astros are rallying a bit, and that one smoked up the middle. He's going to go first to third. He might even score on this. Center fielder's going to fall down. Runner's being waved around. Play at the plate. Got him! Oh, my goodness. The relay's incredible. First out of the inning. What is Chaz McCormick doing? This was smoked. 
and Tyler O'Neill with great speed is able to cut it off but falls down gets it back in quickly and one thing you don't do is run on Ellie De La Cruz laser beam to home and we got the hoses in the chat what a throw from Ellie De La Cruz what a throw and that's the first out in the inning they had second and third with nobody out if he just holds up at third then almost anything is going to score him why do you if it's going to be close you don't go with nobody out. You absolutely do not go with nobody out. Big mistake. I don't actually mind a walk here. I know that sounds crazy. I'd prefer to just get an out, but I don't mind a walk. Sets up the double play. That actually works, though. Ground ball, runner advances to third. Two outs now for the number nine hitter. I was assuming we could just get a double play. Obviously, don't want to get back to the leadoff hitter, but it is lefty-lefty against Adam Frazier. Although Frazier's caused some trouble. There's a ground ball we were looking for. Ellie charges, throws on to first, got him. Ellie is my MVP. Ellie MVP. <sighs> Bit of a stretch there. Bit of a stretch. Nice play from De La Cruz. We need some insurance. Nope, can't get it. On to the fifth. Scooble still with some energy. We'll see what happens in the uh, you know, latter part of this game. Frazier's numbers are actually way better against lefties. This one's hit fairly well out to left, but Fraley's there. Why is he such a tough out? He's a beast in this franchise for some reason. And he did have a good year with Baltimore, right? I think he had a good year with Baltimore and then got paid. Was it with... No, it might have been with the Pirates. Adam Frazier. And then he got traded to the Mariners? I can't quite remember the Adam Frazier timeline here. Chat's going to help me out here. Three and one with Jordan Alvarez up next. You know what it was? I think it was uh, Frazier found power. He found power with the Orioles. But he had a really great season for average with the Pirates. I think that's where Frazier was. Big strikeout for Scooble. Only the second of the ball game. Maybe we try to get the ball up on Jordan, jam him a bit that way. Because the ball down crushed it. Good with Pirates. Traded to Padres. That was it. Then signed with Mariners. And then power with the Orioles. That's right. That's right. One and one to Yordan. Ball up. That one sounded bad. That one sounded very bad. Yordan was early on it. Maybe fastball up's not going to work. Curveball. Ground ball at McLean. Got to make the play, Matty. Got him. All right. Coming back up to hit. Of course, player locked here with Tarek Skubal if you're just joining in. As Verifies comes back 17 months. Thank you very much. Royals this season. Dude, I'm, I'm in on the Royals train. And we did get a run there. We did get a run. Courtesy of... I'm ready to find out. O'Neal double to center. And Tyler Stevenson scored uh, after a single to right. And we got that lead back. 78 pitches for Scooble. How are we supposed to live in these conditions? A fastball below the letters is no good. You're killing me. You're killing me. Come on. You gotta give us you gotta give us, you know, the plate low if you're not giving it up high. It's just is this just a super small strike zone? Because that's that should be strike three. Based on the logic of this umpire. He's and a World Series game, by the way, this guy's allowed to call. Three and two. Locate the 12 6. It's a pretty good spot for it, to be honest. Kyle Tr uh, Tucker draws a walk, and now we have to face Jeremy Pena. Two for two in this game. Has homered. He is the reason why the Astros have any runs at all. And I'd love for him to ground out into a double play. We're spamming sinkers. Get us a ground ball. Laser beam out. Matt McLean right there. Thank you. Still playing for that double play. Why can I not get a mound visit going? Get me a mound visit. 
Caleb Ferguson and Lucas Sims are up. I guess I'm not managing because I'm player locked. I'd get a mound visit in there at some point here. Challenge fastball. Didn't mean to pause it. That's high. Top six. Come on, Scooble. Ball three. Three and oh. To Chaz McCormick. And that sinker's wild. It's ball four. How about a mound visit for good old Tarek Scooble here? Blue's actually going to make a change. Not Blue. Uh, manager. Scooble's day is done. And our player lock is over. Scooble out in the sixth. This is a huge spot, though. Griffin Canning is who is called upon. And we cannot find the strike zone. Griffin Canning is an interesting move. Lucas Sims and Caleb Ferguson up. Somehow Canning was called upon, and this ball is hit deep to right field. Hooking foul, and it is out of play. One and two. Strikeout or double play? Good pitch. Ground ball and steer. He can't get it. Runners hold up. And it is a single to advance everybody. Bases juiced. As we try to navigate out of this mess. Chopper. I mean, hit on the ground pretty short. But had enough juice to get past the diving Spencer Steer. And it's going to be Griffin Canning against Pedro Leon. Come on, Canning. Strike one. First base umpire knows what to do. Slider called ball. I think that's probably fair. Fastball up and fouled back. Fouled away at least. Back to the curveball. We got a good result, just couldn't find somebody. Good block from Stevenson. 2-2. Two -two. Really don't want this to go 3-2. Really don't. Kind of have to be a strike here. Kind of has to be. Ground ball at McLean. A run scores. It was hit too softly. Couldn't get the out at home. Couldn't get the out at two. I mean, if this is hit any harder, I think it's a double play. Any harder. But it's hit so softly at McLean. He might have been able to make this turn. But... We were already trying to get the out at home, and then when I realized we didn't have it, had to let that run score. 3-3. Three, three. Very frustrating. And we are tied up. Are the Reds fans booing? I mean, we're up in the World Series. 3-0. Oh, to the 9-hitter. Find the strike zone, Griffin. There's strike one. Got to go back to the fastball here. Strike two. Sam Huff way early. Slider for strike three. Got him! Pitched out of it enough. Griffin Canning retires him. And we're going to come up to hit. Bottom of the sixth. It's going to be Spencer Steer. As Framber Valdez is still in this game. He's tough to hit, man. He really is. He's tough to tough to hit sometimes. It's kind of a weird release, weird timing. Everything he throws is slow. Like that fastball. That sinker actually goes up to 96. I thought it was a bit slower. I thought he was 92, 93. And he, he will sit there, but he gets up a little bit harder, I guess. All right, 3-3. Three, three. What a pitch. I mean, it, it's, it's it's such a sick pitch. And that is a big strikeout. Matt McLean grounds out. And that's quickly two away. A lot of game left. How about Jake Fraley against the lefty? Come on, Jake. Be clutch. That's called the ball. Okay. Cutter up and in. Two Rippy. Thanks for the tier one. Welcome back. Ground ball. I mean, it's such a great sinker. 1-0, we might try to take that. Timed it up well, but that thing really dove down. Okay. 
Griffin Cannon can stay out there, but I'm ready to make a change ASAP. It's just that Frazier hits lefties better. I'm going to keep Griffin Canning out there and then bring out the lefty for Jordan and Kyle Tucker and probably Kirilov as well. I would say this is probably Griffin Canning's last batter. One way or another. Frazier is a little pest, dude. There's, there's nothing else to say. Fly ball to right. Renfro camped underneath. That was out number one. Okay. Time for the lefty. Caleb Ferguson. I need a minimum of two. Can't go to Abbott. We haven't seen either of our best closers in a while. Bruce Dar and Alexis Diaz. Diaz can be a bit of a heart, atta a heart attack machine. Uh, Bruce Dar Gratterall is the ultimate uh, choke artist for me in this series. Probably don't want to bring him out. I'm not getting anything, dude. We are not getting anything. Good pitch from Ferguson. Really just, I'm trying to get Kirilov to expand. But based on the strike zone, we got to keep the ball down. Ground ball at Ellie. Thankfully, Christian Encarnacion Strand does not feel that because that is 100% an infield single if he does. Two out. This, again, could be another, like, pitch around situation. Jordan scares me. No way around it. Definitely scares me. Don't really want to give him anything to hit. Got to keep the ball away. Oh, that's not away. That is down the middle. Okay. Not great there. Not great. Got to locate that a little bit better. How about a curveball? You want to chase it, Jordan. Waste pitch. Again, I'm fine with a walk. Very fine with a walk. Yeah. Probably just going to opt to walk him here. Unless he grounds out to Matt McLean. Thank you very much. Ferguson works out of it. And I might leave him in to face Kyle Tucker. It's an option as Framber Valdez is pulled from the game. Who is this? Enoli Paredes. All right. You got 9-1-2 and two in the order. Great spot to be. That is an 84-mile-per-hour changeup up in the zone. It looked like a high fastball, and then it just dropped right in. There's that high fastball. I mean, you're lucky we didn't swing at the first changeup. That's all I'll say. Very lucky. Someone's got to break this tie. Fastball down. I think he might have been trying to throw that for a strike and then back that up with a changeup. Here's the 2-1. We're being patient, and that's a strike. Oh, this umpire is out of control. Somebody stop this guy. Need ump scorecards to come in clutch. Fly ball. That one does actually get down in front of Kyle Tucker. Way to stay on that. Outside fastball. India just stays with it. Pushes it to right field. And we have the leadoff runner on. The leadoff hitter is reached first. And now we actually have our true leadoff in the form of Christian Encarnacion Strand. Why is he leading off today? Well... Gonna hit with him. Got big time power, and there it's being showcased. Deep to right field, Tucker makes the play. Smoked off the bat of CES, but it can't find grass. Man, that thing was actually destroyed. But Tyler Stevenson, two for two in this game. If there's anybody you want up, it's our catcher, number 37, Tyler Stevenson. A little bit out in front of that. A little bit out in front. Need a base hit, Tyler. Anything to the gaps would be fantastic. Or over the wall. Don't like that. Got three strikes for a reason. Although being down 0-2 is not a favorable spot, that's for sure. Tried to jam us. I mean, could have been called a ball, could have been called a strike. That one is uh, very, very close. Up and in on the black. Can't really take that 0-2. Ball one. Jake Fraley in all nine positions would actually be... That'd be pretty smart. Ground ball up the middle! Stopped! Fielded! On to second one! And that's all they can get. Oh my goodness, what a play. I thought that was going to get up the middle at first. 
obviously ended up getting batted down. It's amazing they even got one. Tyler O'Neill three for three in this game. Perfect time to go four for four. Come on, Tyler. First, Tyler got out, but is currently on first base or grounded out officially. Fielder's choice. That's strike one. Slider up and away. Okay. Hanger smoked and fielded by Frazier, who's becoming the MVP of this game. And certainly that inning. Still deadlocked, three to three, both nine hits apiece. And Ferguson stays on for Kyle Tucker. Lefty, lefty, just get him out. These guys are so patient, it's annoying. Just expand the zone, get yourself out, please. Not what we intended, but we'll take the result. Keep that fastball down. How is that not a strike if this is a ball? Oh, this umpire is terrible. I mean, it, it was a ball, right? But it, he's been inconsistent. 2-2. Two -two. Cutter. Ground and foul. How about another cutter? But actually, we get it away. Ground ball. Fielded by Sess. And it's an out. Thank you, Christian. And that's going to be all for Caleb Ferguson. Round of applause for Caleb Ferguson, please. Lucas Sims, I need you for two outs. And then Bruzdar begrudgingly. And then Alexis Diaz, hopefully, if we take the lead. Lucas Sims can be scary sometimes. Jeremy Pena is scary as well. Oh, now it's a strike. Thank you. What a gracious umpire. Grounded foul. Give me a slur for strike three. Oh, huge pitch. It's an incredible take. Gotta tip your cap. That is it, though. Strike three. Paint you down looking. Backwards, K. Two away. And now it's Chaz McCormick. All right, Chaz. I know you want to go down looking as well. Fastball up. I mean, he's been consistent pretty much with that not being a strike. Front door breaking ball. Kind of got down the middle, but not worried about it. Fouled off. Strike two. One pitch, Lucas. Jam him. Oh, good spot. Ground ball at Ellie. Too easy. Too easy for Ellie. Bottom of the eighth now. Let's take the lead. Let's give Bruce Dar a lead to work with. Although that historically has been awful. And Noli Peretta is out for another inning of work. Hunter Renfro. And Renfro ends up flying out. I wanted him to be Hunter Redfro. Change your name legally. Maybe you can hit that out. A little bit out in front of the changeup. And here is Ellie De La Cruz hitting at that five spot. 0 for 3 today, which just means he's due. That's all that means. Jammed. Jeez, too early and now too late. ECA Bonkers, welcome back five months. Thank you very much. Spencer Steer. Is there anyone I can go to instead of Spencer Steer? Jesse Winker. That's actually very tempting. But can't play first base. Gotta be Steer. We could move, you know, CES back over there, but I'm not gonna do that. Fastball, deep to left, but not enough on it. Maybe off the handle of the bat there. Good timing, but couldn't quite square it up. And that is out number three as we move on to the ninth. Going to be more Lucas Sims then. I keep trying for that fastball up. Finally called a strike. Got it a couple times. He just doesn't call it middle-middle for some reason. What is this strike zone? 0-2, not complaining there. Would have loved that to be called. Front door, ground ball foul. Good pitch, foul. 
really making Lucas Sims work. That's for sure. We need him to chase, but there's no reason to go after it. It hasn't been a strike the entire game. And called check swing. Ball three. Breaking ball. Good spot. Called ball four. All right. And they're going to try to bunt over the run. Popped up. Can't play it. Try to bunt again, you know. Ground ball at steer. Turn it. There's one. Yes, back on the first. Not in time. What a play, though, from Spencer Steer to even get one there. And the lead runner at that. That's massive. Absolutely massive. That's a hanger. Can't do that. Fastball up. Strike two. Come on, Lucas. Strike him out. Strike three. Got him. Sam Huff is way out ahead of the fastball away. It's unbelievable. And we will keep in Adam Frazier and Lucas Sims. We'll, we'll keep that matchup locked. Come on, Lucas. Okay, strike one. I really am not afraid of Kirilov at all, but we don't have a lefty. So that, that makes me, like, slightly afraid. Runner takes off for second. Hit and run was on. That is a ground ball. And we are out of that jam. A little, only a minor jam, but a little bit of a jam nonetheless. So, we'll take it. And um, it's Matt McLean, Jake Fraley, Jonathan India. The order is terrible. I don't know who set this, but it wasn't me. <laughs> this is a bad order. But against... The, no, it, it actually might have been me. It probably had to have been. Jake Fraley, you know, down against the lefty. I guess that makes sense. But now he's in a, a spot where he can really be clutch. Matt McLean, two for three in this game. Maybe finally breaking out. And this one sits to right center fairly well. But I think it's going to be tracked down, and it is. Unfortunate. Jake Fraley, six home runs this postseason. OPS over 1,000. If ever there was a time to be clutch, Jake Fraley, it's right here. It's right now. Fouled back. A little bit late on the heater. A little bit late. Come on, Jake. One and one. He's been so clutch this entire postseason. He's 0 for 3 today. Two homers in game two. And it's 3 and 1 to Fraley. They want no part of him. Here's a 3 1. You know we got the green light. Fastball driven deep to right. Get up and get out. Fraley ends it. Captain Clutch, Rake Fraley, does it again. 3-1, pitch to hit, he got all of it. Jake Fraley, hero in Cincinnati again. Unbelievable. Rake Fraley, give him World Series MVP right now. It can't be anybody else. They mob him at a home plate. We go up 2-0 in the series. Anoli Paredes. Challenge fastball. Fraley says, I see your challenge. I accept it. And I end it. I mean, that's how you turn and burn on a heater. Absolutely smoked. That got out in a hurry. In an instant. Jake Fraley does it again, man. What can you say? Unbelievable. And I think that's as good a place as any to end this episode. Jake Fraley, a hero yet again. Scooble pitched fine. Not amazing. Your player of the game is Tyler Stevenson. Oh, I, I see what the numbers say. We know the player of the game is Jake Fraley. Cheated. But walk-off home run for the hero. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.